This is my iNav equipped flight test spear wing. I first built it in January 2020. It's now late in May 2020 and I have not maidened it yet. We need to chuck this plane in the air today. So here we are out at the flying field on Maiden Day, May 23rd, 2020, for my FT Spear that I built way back in January 2020. I've been a little afraid to fly it. I put a lot of work into building it and uh, I made some design changes from the original FT Spear design by Josh Bixler, just a few minor ones, and I also designed my own 3D printed uh, motor mount. I used a 3D printed uh, pan tilt from Thingiverse and a 3D printed uh, GoPro session mount that you can see laid out in front of you on the bottom of the screen from Thingiverse also. I'm not a fan of this session mount and I will change it out. I don't like having all that in there. I thought the purpose of having the go, uh, session in the front was to get a clean picture with no plane in it, but here we are. So it's maiden day. You're about to experience what it's like for a newbie like me, a relative newbie, uh, to maiden uh, an INAV plane like this. Um, me and my friend Kevin are both experiencing our typical flying day troubles that you might have out in the field. He's uh, struggling with his beautiful E-Flight Optera having VTX issues. It's stuck on EU mode. And I am trying to get uh, GPS satellites and nothing's happening and I can't figure out why. So I'm messing around with it. Um, I should tell you a little bit about the plane. The plane is a flight test spear. Uh, it's an all-up weight of 1,374 grams. It has a zippy compact uh, 3300 4S battery. I'm finally giving up and rebooting the flight controller. It has a Sunny Sky X2216 V2 1250 kV motor. It, it's spinning an APC 8x6 prop. It has a uh, Maytech F411WSE running the INAV firmware back in January 2.2.1 has a ready-made RC uh, GPS, Emacs digital servos, a Hobbywing Skywalker 50 amp ESC. Uh, what else can I say about it? It has a wingspan of 1,045 millimeters and it has a pan tilt mount which is a first for me and that's what turns this little man uh, boy into a little man <laughs> little, that's what turns this man into a little boy <laughs> so uh, you'll see that in this flight and that's why we're in this hobby is to have fun and it sure is even though it's scary, it's a lot of fun to maiden a plane. Let's chuck it in the air, shall we? It's going. The LED's going in a circle when he takes off. That's awesome. Oh my god! Let's see the panty mode. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Cruise mode. Cruise mode. Oh yeah.
Oh my god. I know. Cruise boat switching to rear camera. Rear camera. Oh yeah. No OSD. Okay, because it's that tells me for sure that it's switched to PAL. The camera is supposed to be a is supposed to be a uh, NTSC and it's a PAL. Okay, we're going into back into horizon mode. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm flying the beast! Try switching to. Oh, wait, let's pan around a little. I forgot I can do that. I look down. I can look up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so fucking cool. This is a cool ass plane, man. Oh my God.
So Andy, did you lose picture? So that means that your video doesn't change to uh, pal. Yeah, quicker. Yeah, mine too. But that verifies that it's for sure a PAL camera on the other one. I gotta fix that. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool! Dude, when you chase me, when you're AR wing, you're gonna be able to see that ring light. Three. I'm sorry. Well, yeah. oh, nothing. I was couldn't read my voltage for a second. I couldn't find it. Okay, one last thing to do, or two last things, is to test the hold mode and to test return to home. So first, we'll go out this way a little bit. I gotta, I gotta put the, oh shit, I gotta increase the cruise throttle. Okay, so now let's go into return to home. Oh yeah! 42 degrees Celsius inside there, dude. I'm gonna have to get some cooling in there. I'm gonna have to install air conditioning. Oh, yes. I programmed this thing right the first time. I can't believe it. Loitering around home. <laughs> okay, so now I got to get it out of this mode, and then into air mode, and then we got to bring it in for, uh, let's just cruise around a little bit more, do the pan tilt a little bit. over there. Bumpy ride. Okay. Air mode. I'm going to bring it in for a landing. Maybe I'm too high. Might have to go around a couple times.
Wow. Thank you. Uh, well, that was fun. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, but it was an awesome flight, and I brought it back in one piece. I launched it first time, no, no problems, and. Uh, I have to say, I like it a lot. Now I just got to get more used to it and less afraid of it. And I've got two more of those 3300 cells. That's what I flew it at. Seems to be good. I didn't really pay much attention to the trim and air mode. I just kept my fingers on the sticks and kept flying it. So, yeah, that was awesome. There it is. Got the lights on it. Everything seemed to work. Everything seemed to work just fine. Why, thank you. Oh, except I broke the fucking thing. Oh, look at that. It came off. It came off. That's the weakest link right there. Oh, what a bummer. This is still recording. Oh my god, I got some HD footage. Is it still recording? I can't tell. I'll get it back. Okay. Let's just carry it back. We'll disconnect this. There's the battery. Telemetry lost. Okay, that was awesome. Too bad we broke the pan tilt mount on the first landing. That's, that's a bummer. We'll have to do something about that.